Hello and welcome to the English language series of speeches and commentaries, stories and fun facts with MultiJames95. How are you doing viewers? If you're new to my channel, please click the subscribe button and notification bell to see more videos on fun facts, trivias and stories in this series. Today's topic, the racism of Imelda Schweighart. But before we get to this issue, let us first get to know Imelda Schweighart. Who is Imelda Schweighart? Imelda Bautista Schweighart was born on May 29, 1995 to a Filipino mother and German father in Limassol, Cyprus. She rose to prominence when she was crowned as Miss Earth Philippines in 2016, but later resigned due to a controversial comment she made about Miss Earth 2016 winner Ecuador's Catherine Espin. The comment made by Schweighart was that Espin underwent plastic surgery to make herself more beautiful and that she had <laughs> Espin herself has denied all these claims. According to Miss Earth guidelines, contestants who have undergone surgical enhancement are still allowed to participate. That same year, she made controversial false claims that then-president-elect Rodrigo Duterte was the modern-day Adolf Hitler, a title that many say actually belongs to North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un as well as his predecessor Kim Jong-il, and also causing the Holocaust in the Philippines. This comment is another element that caused her to resign due to unprofessionalism. After leaving the pageant world, Imelda Schweighart entered the showbiz industry and also went into music, releasing the singles F*** Boy and Change My Mind. Four years later, the bad spotlight went to Imelda Schweighart again. This was not about her career in the showbiz industry, but another controversial comment. Schweighart stated on her Facebook account about her hatred for Korean pop, shortened as K-pop, adding that Filipinos are losing pride in themselves, trying to be Koreans. Does merely listening to K-pop take away your pride in nationalism? No, it doesn't. In another post, Schweighart stated that she thought the Chinese were the ones invading the Philippines. Another post even mocked Koreans for their English language proficiency while also stating that Filipinos are more proficient in the language. In America, Bye. we speak English. So. Why does he speak English? Why does he speak English if he's an American citizen? Now let me tell you a fact. In South Korean schools, the majority of the subjects there are taught in the native language, whether it be science, mathematics, social studies, civics and culture, economics, technology, and whatsoever. Well, with the exception of English language. The English language is taught also in Korean, but as soon as the students progress, the English language is taught in English. Get your facts right, Imelda Schweighart. These comments have garnered angry reactions from netizens, both K-pop fans and non-K-pop fans alike. If there's any strain of popular music to hate on right now, then K-pop may not be the smartest choice. You know that Korean music fans, after all, are known for their unflinching loyalty and obsessive, all-consuming passion. Many have come to the defense of the genre, stating that merely listening to K-pop does not take away the pride in being a citizen of a nation, and it would not make someone less Filipino. This is true. Some non-K-pop fans even listen to it just to explore the genres. If you're a true music lover or a true musician, you must have an open mind and you must also listen to other genres to see for yourself and also to learn about the genre and get along with people who like it. And with Imelda Schweighart being the music business, this should apply to her too. Remember this. Although many have rightfully criticized her for the lack of common sense and lack of professionalism, Others have escalated the issue further by calling Schweighart names and sending her hate messages as well as death threats. A number of netizens went to mob mentality to mass report Schweighart's Facebook posts, causing her account to be disabled. 
this caused Trigard to put into plan to filing charges of online harassment, invasion of privacy, cyberstalking, and defamation in relation to RA101175 or the Cybercrime Prevention Act of 2012 against mob netizens. In addition, if Red Velvet has an RBB, which means really bad boy, Imelda Schweighart has an RBB too, but her RBB means racist brainless beauty. You're such a Karen, Imelda Schweighart. We don't need toxic Karen people like you. Get out! You're a disgrace! What was your reaction when Schweighart made the comments? Type your answers in the chat box. Hey MultiJames95 fam, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. And we are now on Patreon and PayPal. So if you wish to donate or support MultiJames95, the links to Patreon and PayPal are in the description. Thank you once more and see you again next video.